what is up y'all welcome to another weekly energy reading it's the last week of september how is your new moon i am using a new new deck combo today these are black cat tarot and the dream oracle deck that you've probably seen before if you watch the videos Black Cat Tarot, I feel like it's a new season, so I've got a new combo here. I've never dealt these cards before. I haven't really gotten to use the Black Cat Tarot yet, uh, but when I did the interview, um, the deck said essentially that it's good for weighing decisions and things like that. Um, maybe I'll go back and look up what exactly it said and bring it to you on the next video, but... Um, yeah, that's what I got. So let's tap into ener the energy for the week. New moon is over. Might be some opportunities for growth. Some dreaminess and potential. More inspiration coming in. Some luck. Let's see what the week has in store for those who are watching. The chasing, look within, dwellings in reverse. Okay, well that's loud and clear. What are you chasing after? Um, is there some external need here that we're looking to fulfill ourselves with? Because it's actually saying the answers are within. And dwelling, you know, your internal self, your inner self, your higher self, that is your dwelling. That's where your soul resides. In the body, yes, but also our consciousness sort of dwelling here. Um, so this week, we may have some luck or growth or change relating to our home and something that we really want. Something Our home is pretty broad here. Might be actual home, changing homes, collective energy. the five of cups okay so this is about um, finding gratitude for something rejuvenation from regret the knight of wands the high priestess the page of swords the eight of pentacles six of wands six of swords Four of Swords, the Empress, Nine of Pentacles. Um, is there something that you want to be? It's like you're you're you're, you're chasing something in order to be known for it. I feel like there's some there's some sort of success here. Pers a personal victory is what I'm getting. Um, because of this movement with inspiration. I feel like if the messages go within, the thing you seek externally is within you. Mm, I'm getting that this has, this has been an, an inspired action. So there was something taken, the Knight of Staves, that's movement, forward movement with inspiration, passion, action, and the Eight of Pentacles is work. So maybe it's work, it could be a passion project. Maybe it's like a passion project was put on hold until you went within to reflect and to meditate on the direction of where this was taking you, this project. Um, and now there's an invitation to move beyond some sort of method that is um, maybe has been a little bit um, difficult or like, you know, n not without challenges. I don't want to say it, was, it, was like, it doesn't seem like a terrible situation, just that uh, things were harder than they needed to be. And now there's more of an awareness, an invitation to be aware that there is a lot of wealth and abundance available here around you. So 
this could be seen as like a different way of seeing something. I do see a message coming in. Uh, maybe there's a message coming the, from somebody um, that could be seen as um, making life easier. Someone is making your life easier or helping you to see another side of a situation, one that is less lack, less lack mentality, more abundant mentality. So maybe there's somebody here being generous with you. Maybe you're being generous with another person, sending out a message, under, seeing where you can help somebody and make somebody's life a little bit easier. Um, so since I'm getting these two messages, it's almost like, is this you going within or is this you potentially giving some good advice to somebody that like really um, sits deeply with another person or helps them figure out um, what their needs are and get their needs met, but like um, you're not changing somebody's life and somebody isn't coming in to change your life. Their existence, their communication, their message reminds you that there's an easier way to do things if we adopt this abundance mindset. Yes. Yes, that is it. So definitely do um, pay attention to what is um, inspiring. Um, and in other ways to say that is to pay attention to what drives you. What's your motivation uh, for the work that you do? Whether it's work career rise or just the kind of work that you do in, in terms of spending your time. What are the skills that you are gathering right now? What are the things that you're learning about right now? what part of your life is growing or developing. I see that there is personal growth, there's comfort, there's intuition, definitely a, a heightening of intuition, um, an expansion of intuition and inner wisdom. So this message could be coming from yourself. This could be you and med you having like a successful meditation where you walk away, you stand up and walk away from it being feeling more enlightened and feeling a little bit lighter or easier. Um, in general, this does have to do with dealing with some potentially negative emotions or just dealing with regret or dealing with, um, this is the five of cups. It's um, not seeing, not seeing that there's something here to be salvaged, not seeing that there's uh, room for optimism. This week, the optimism definitely comes in. It definitely comes in. All right, so what's the advice? What does the universe want you to know? Page of Cups, something unexpected. Uh, potentially room for um, getting emotional, you know, um, doesn't seem like a super important or dramatic thing, just a small upset. Maybe you realize that this thing was really not that big of a deal. Whatever made you five of cups energy, you realize it's not that, it's not a big deal because there's a lot of abundance here for you and for everybody in your life. What else? Parting messages from the universe. I feel like that's an invitation to participate to um, if we're in the five of cups energy we're not really participating at all in the co-creation of our life if four of cups um, sort of suggests that we're saying no thanks I'm good um, in this case it's showing up in the reverse and just given what the reading's been about I feel like it's it's more of an invitation to step out and to um, take uh, it's an invitation to uh, feel excited about something. Well, and seeing it with the Page of Cups as well, it's like we're being a little bit immature. This is, somebody's been immature. You have maybe reacted poorly to a situation or maybe the circumstances were such that it was hard not to be petty and now you're realizing that there's a better way to be. Good for you. Good for you. Get that toxicity out of the environment. 
All's good. All right, one final message, please. From the universe. Yikes. We have the Two of Cups, the Three of Wands, Seven of Cups, Ace of um, Wands, and the Page of Wands. So there's definitely inspiration, expansion, growth here. There's Jupiter. Jupiter is um, opposite Sun this week. Inspiration's coming in. Um, Neptune is trying Mercury. That's definitely Seven of Cups energy. So given the situation, <laughs> And given the energy of this coming week, I feel like the real opportunity, the real um, invitation is to uh, show up more authentically by realizing um, that there's many possibilities. There's many ways to grow. There's many directions to uh, possibly invest your time in. And that the way to do that right now is to really lean into intuition, lean into creativity, um, and maybe to let go of some expectations. Um, expectations is really what creates this kind of Five of Cups energy, this Four of Cups, the Page of Cups in reverse. This is sort of just like, it's bitterness, it's um, misunderstanding, it's apathy, things to address. This is about emotional balance, for sure. And so daydreaming, if this is a week where we can see many perspectives, we can see into not only our own motives, but the, the motives of others. We can see how people are inclined to grow based on the atten what, the, what they put their attention into. And just as they say, um, where your attention goes, energy flows. That's what wants to be addressed here in terms of this emotional balance is coming out of that through deliberate, passionate, spiritual growth and development. We may start to drift a little bit and start to see other possibilities for ways to feel, ways to react, ways to go after things, ways to action those passion projects. And there's a lot of pentacles here as well. You know, that nine of pentacles is still like really looking at me. Seeing that with the empress, that's like everything is growing. There's like so much abundance here. If you just sort of set out to uh, put your perspective in that order. So my advice to you is to follow through on what you're passionate about. And then take this weekend to... Uh, nurture that perspective. This feels like a very peaceful reading, so 10 out of 10 would do it again. Mm, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video. Oh, by the way, I don't know if it'll be a weekly video. I'm gonna just take some time to think about how I want to show up to these readings, um, and also how it's balancing with my other responsibilities and the other things that I want to do. You see how this is, you see how it all works. Um, thanks so much for watching. If you've been here this uh, whole time, I really, really, truly appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. And uh, like the video, check out the song at the end and um, or at the uh, description. Um, that's all I got. Actually, no, I'm doing an event at the end of October. I'm reading cards in Highland Park. I will say more about it when I have more info.